Hello everyone! Pag-usapan natin ang implicit differentiation. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Ginagamit ang implicit differentiation if the function f of x is not expressed explicitly in terms of x or in other words, yung right part ng ating function ay hindi lang x yung variable. Meron ding uh, other variable y. So, ang original way ng pagsasolve natin ng derivative ng function ay i-isolate muna yung y or yung f of x sa left part bago kuhanin yung derivative ng both sides. Pero dahil hindi nga applicable yon sa mga functions not expressed explicitly in terms of x, then gagamitin natin itong technique ng implicit differentiation. When we are dealing with implicit differentiation, uh, i-differentiate lang natin yung lahat ng terms na nandoon sa function. And since we are dealing with derivative in respect to x, every time we encounter y, we get its derivative as dy over dx. Kukuhanin natin yung derivative ng bawat term, tapos kapag may y, a-applyan natin ang dy over dx as its derivative. And then we manipulate the resulting equation by... Solving it algebraically, i-isolate natin yung dy over dx sa left part. To better understand, let's have the following examples. So, if y is a function of x, we have to find dy over dx of this first function. We have x squared minus 11y cubed plus 14y squared equals 6. Na dito, hindi natin pwedeng i-isolate yung y dahil yung cube at yung squared, no, iba yung kanilang exponent. Kaya kahit anong gawin natin, magkakaroon at magkakaroon ng y on both sides. So again, ang gagamitin natin dito ay implicit differentiation. So sabi sa implicit differentiation, we get the derivative of each term. First term natin is x squared. We know that by power rule, this is its derivative is 2x. Next, for the second term, we have negative 11y cubed. Applyan lang natin ng power rule din. Pero dahil y yung involved dito, kakabitan natin or dudugtungan natin ng dy over dx. So, meron pa rin negative 11 dito. Bababa yung 3. Y, this will now be squared na lang. Dahil binawasan natin ng isa. At dahil y, itong kinukuha na natin ng derivative, dadagdagan natin ng dy over dx. Same goes sa ating third term. We have 14, bababa yung 2y. Ang exponent niya ay 1 na lang. Pero dahil y ito, dadagdagan ulit natin ng dy over dx. And finally, the derivative of 6 is 0. Nagawa na natin yung first part ng implicit differentiation. Let's simplify each term. So, this will be negative 33y squared dy over dx plus 14 times 2, that is 28y dy over dx equals 0. Next part natin, kailangan daw maiwan sa isang side yung may dy over dx. We will solve it algebraically. So, this 2x, kailangan siyang mapalipat sa other side. We have negative 2x here. And then, we just copy negative 33y squared dy over dx plus 28y dy over dx. To isolate dy over dx, we will factor it out from the two terms. Kapag finactor out, this will be negative 33y squared plus 28y. And this is still negative 2x. And finally, we divide both sides by the multiplier na nandito sa loob ng parenthesis, which is negative 33y squared plus 28y. This will be divided. Tuloy natin dito sa taas. Ang dy over dx ngayon natin is negative 2x all over negative 33y squared plus 28y. Now, other 
Reference materials ang gusto ay yung first term natin ay positive. So, kapag ganun, ipa-factor out lang natin yung negative 1 sa numerator at sa denominator para mas maging acceptable yung answer natin. So, this would be negative 1 times 2x. This is negative 1. 33y squared and then this will be negative 28y. Ma-divide na si negative 1. So, ang dy over dx natin ngayon is positive 2x all over 33y squared minus 28y. Even if i-factor out natin yung y, wala na namang ma-simplify sa ating fraction. 33 and 28, hindi na rin naman ito divisible sa isang common factor. So, ito na yung ating final answer for example number 1. Let's move to the second example. Dito naman sa example 2, meron tayong 4x squared plus 3xy plus 7y cubed plus 4y squared equals 2. Again, wala tayong magagawa para i-factor out yung y dahil iba-iba sila ng exponent, kaya gamit na lang tayo ng implicit differentiation. For the first term, ang derivative ng 4x squared, we know that is 8x. And then for the second term, gamit ako ng ibang color ng pen, let's treat this as 3x, positive 3x, times y. Dahil nakamultiply sila, gagamitan natin ito ng product rule. Yes, you heard it right. We will use product rule even if isang term lang yung involved dito. Because we have two different variables multiplied to each other. So, so, so sabi sa product rule, first the second. First, we copy the first uh, part which is 3x times the derivative of the second. Ang derivative ng second, derivative ng y, recall that it's dy over dx. First, the second plus second, derivative of the first. Ang derivative naman ng first, derivative ng 3x, that is 3. So, possible yun na yung isang term na magka-multiply yung x at y, Pag kinuha na natin ang derivative, it will result to two terms. Continue natin. We have 7y cube. This will be 7 times 3. Idiretsyo ko na. That will be 21y squared. dy over dx. And for this one, we have 4 times 2y. dy over dx. And of course, the derivative of 2 is just 0. Let's simplify the terms. We have 8x plus 3x dy over dx. The third term is just 3y. Next, we have 21y squared dy over dx. Then this is 8y dy over dx. Next, tulad ng ginawa natin sa kabilang example 1, I-isolate natin lahat ng may dy over dx. So, itong 8x, lilipat yan sa kabila. Itong 3x, stay. Itong 3y, lipat. Oh, that will be minus 3y na. 21 will stay. 21y squared dy over dx. And of course, 8y will stay. Next, I i-factor out natin si dy over dx. We have 3x plus 21y squared plus 8y. And then, we divide both sides by 3x plus 21y squared plus 8y. That's why our derivative dy over dx is equal to negative 8x minus 3y all over 3x plus 21y squared plus 8y. This is our final answer for example 2 dahil wala na namang common factor sa numerator at denominator. Or pwede mo ring i-factor out pa yung negative 1 sa numerator para hindi negative yung first term mo. 
So, kapag factor out natin si negative, dito natin sulat. 8x will be positive. 3y will also be positive. Tapos yung denominator natin, ganun pa din. Let's move to the third example. Dito sa third example, I will be pausing for a while. Uh, siguro about 10 seconds. And uh, during that 10 seconds, pwede mong i-pause yung video or isolve mo ng mapilisan yung implicit derivative ng number 3. After 10 seconds, magre-resume tayo ng ating discussion. Again, using implicit differentiation for y cubed, we have 3y squared. Dagdagan natin ng dy over dx. Plus, itong 4y squared, idiretsyo ko na, it will be 8y dy over dx. And for this 4x squared y, tulad nung ginawa natin sa example 2, we will treat this as the multiplication of 4x squared and y. So first, we have 4x squared, derivative of the second, dy over dx. Plus second, derivative of the first, ang derivative ng 4x squared, that is 8x. Next, derivative of 7 is just 0. Derivative of 8x, that's 8 lang. Tapos, i-simplify natin yung mga naka-yellow na ink. We have here 4x squared dy over dx, and then this is 8xy. Uh, tanggalin natin yung 0. Ang next part, itong si 8xy, ilipat natin sa kabilang side. This will be 8 minus 8xy. At dito naman, isabahin na natin yung pagfa-factor out ng dy over dx. So, meron tayong 3y squared plus 8y plus 4x squared. Again, if we factor out natin si dy over dx sa tatlong terms na ito, at itong 8xy ay ating itinranspose. And finally, we will divide everything by the multiplier inside this parenthesis para ma-isolate natin yung dy over dx. So, ang denominator nito is 3y squared plus 8y plus 4x squared. And yun na yun. Our dy over dx for number 3 is 8 minus 8xy all over 3y squared plus 8y plus 4x squared. Even if we factor out 8 in the numerator, wala na naman tayong makakancel out or madidivide sa denominator. So, ito na yung ating final answer for number 3. Ganyan po tayo gumamit ng implicit differentiation. Again, ginagamit lang ito if hindi natin masosolve yung function in terms of x explicitly. And, laging tandaan, using implicit differentiation every time we are getting the derivative of y, kinakabitan natin ng dy over dx. Music